Closing the Gap in Healthcare presents the Low Country Jazz Festival. And here standing with me, Dr. Thaddeus J. Bell. Welcome. Thank you very much. To Bounce Around Charleston. I'm glad to be now, here again. Tell us about Closing the Gap, and then I know you want to talk about the Jazz Festival. Well, Closing the Gap in Healthcare is a program that we've been doing for about the past seven years mm -hmm. with the primary purpose to educate the African American and underserved community trying to improve their health literacy so that they can make better choices as it relates to health care. Because there are some things that we just don't understand and know about There are healthcare. a lot of myths and mm -hmm. untruths that the African American community and the underserved community still operate by causing our outcome to be very, very poor. When you say a myth, what, what is one of the myths that you would share with us? Uh, one of the myths is um, Putting moss in your shoe will make your blood pressure go I've down. I've heard that one. I've heard that one. Or drinking some vinegar will also make your blood pressure go down. Or maybe eating some cinnamon that will control your diabetes. But where did they get? That comes uh, from our history mm -hmm. and just from um, people who are not physicians perpetuating a myth. Hmm. Well, well, what about this folk will tell you that it, it happened? Uh, they are very... There are very many of those people who are still around <laughs> to perpetuate that myth. Okay. 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 So now there's a big jazz festival coming up. Well, the jazz festival we've been doing for the past five years mm -hmm. with the primary purpose being to um, raise money uh, toward a scholarship uh, that I have at the Community Foundation to increase the number of African Americans in the healthcare profession. And so if we can do that, we can have more African-Americans uh, treating African-Americans and other underserved populations to help get rid of some of these myths. That's not the only way to do it, but that's, the, that's one way we want to do it. Okay. So then you have some headliners for this? Oh, festival? I have some headliners. I, I have a list here, and I'll go through them very, very, very quickly. Uh, Friday night, uh, our... We are opening up with uh, Darrell Ravenel, who, no, Darrell. who many people know. And, mm -hmm. of course, uh, we have Jazzing in Paint, a group of lady jazz artists. And um, the other headliners are Dave Carlson Friends, um, Richard Elliott, and mm -hmm. Gerald Albright, who loves to come to Charleston. This has been his third time here. Okay. And then on Sunday night, we have uh, Brian uh, Lanier, and um, we have Stanley Clark, and of course, we are going to have a tribute to uh, George Duke. Oh, um, okay. Who was our headliner who passed away uh, last week. Yeah, great so artist. So he is going to, um, George Duke is going to bring in a special guest um, to do a tribute to George Duke. And then on Sunday night, uh, our own uh, Charlton Singleton will be opening up. Right, and that's then, a great jazz group. That's, that's a great jazz group. And he's coming up next. Huh? That's right. Oh, is that right? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Everett, Everett Harp, uh, Jeff Lober, and Chuck Loeb. And then, of course, um, Randy Crawford and my favorite, Joe Sample. I thought you were going to say Randy Miller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so we're going to be jazzing with a purpose. Jazzing with a purpose. Absolutely. Oh, well, we're very grateful for you being here, sharing with us about closing the gap. And then talking about the Low Country Jazz Festival. And now Charleston Singleton is up next on Bounce Around Charleston. <laughs> 